the appealing things about creating this tiny house was um, not only would we be able to use it for one trade show, but we'd also be able to use in multiple trade shows. One other partner we have in this project that was really um, the key partner for us was Jeffrey Bruce Baker, the architect. Um, I went into his studio with this itty bitty idea and immediately he saw my vision. We were moving our office here in Atlanta and uh, one of our reps came in, Claudia Resende, with Stone Center and with Neolith, and she came in and saw some of our drawings and started talking to us about this idea she had. We loved the idea and loved her energy and were honored to be asked to be part of it, so we said yes. We were looking at the details and we worked with censored stone using Neolith, and I love it because it comes in a really small, um, three millimeters to five and 12 millimeters thick, which is about a half inch. And what's fun about this surface is it is done through compressing um, the different earth elements that make porcelain. So you can even put a flame on it and cook right on it and it won't damage the surface. There's no acrylics, no glues, nothing in it. So we were able to craft such as this gorgeous island, the floors, the walls, and the outside claddings with these unique materials. Neolith has been, has been used in this house on exterior facades uh, with direct mold application. It's been used on the floors, it's been used on the countertops, it's been used on the shower walls, it's been used on the fireplace, um, and interior walls as well. What is so unique about Neolith is, um, first, is 100% natural stone. Okay, so you get a 100% natural stone uh, done with high pressure, high temperature, and turn into slabs, you know, uh, that is, uh, that serves for different applications. And the fact that, you know, we could work with the product in this, in this, uh, in this house, uh, it was amazing because uh, right now, every project will be very easy for us to do. The Neolith as a product is so unique in that it's light, it's usable, it can be so user friendly. Uh, it can replicate so many different types of finishes from metal looks to stone looks. Um, the accessibility to take Neolith into a project and not have to involve such a extensive fabrication plan as we do with our natural stone uh, wall panels, countertops, a lot more on hand. Uh, on-site fabrication as opposed to prefabbed in shops. Uh, I think it's going to be a great add for the design communities that areas that have limited space, weight distribution, especially uh, projects I have already done that are uh, renovations where they can't take down existing elevators and they want to get a stone look. Uh, this type of product is a fantastic finish for that. Uh, I think as an industry we're just going to see so much uh, advancement just due to the weight and size constraints uh, or the advantage to weight and size constraints that it will really be a great positive for us. So we wanted to have fun with the outside skins of the building so we've changed the material a lot but we're letting each part define a different height, a different volume of the house yeah. playing up the nature of the forms, the playful nature of the forms. Well Claudia, I am glad to bring you on a tour of the teeny home. I'm so excited. Good. I want you awesome. to build to realize you can live well and big in small spaces. This is awesome. So this is the first bathroom. In this bathroom we are covering all our walls and floors and even our custom made sink out of Neolith censored stone. This is awesome. Look at so this. So you get a nice hand shower, nice rain head and um, we will put a frosty glass panel there for you. Great, so if you turn behind you, we have a loft. The ladder can go on either side, and it's a full nice. queen bed up there. It's got wow, that's... lights in there. So this part of the ceiling pops up, and uh -huh. then as you enter into the kitchen, we're actually shed dormant the window to one side, the roof to one side. We placed in the middle, and we took our two major structures, which were emulating the size of a container, but made okay. out of structural foam panels. So you could get this large space linking the two parts of the structure, which gave us the ability to have a nice big kitchen. That's where so this many of us live today. Amazing. You can dine around this wonderful large Neolith stone counter system we made. So it's dining and prep. So you have your full size built in refrigeration over here. You can just open that up. Take a look at that. Oh my goodness. We have a nice Mealy coffee maker, warming and a drawer, freezer too? oven, freezer. Oh, yep. Wow. 
And then right here in the middle, you have a full-size wine storage. So you can really entertain with all your friends and family here. It's a party house. <laughs> it is. And so hopefully you'll invite me to come back over. Here you'll notice we've changed the ceiling form a little bit. Again, to make it have more interest, but also to trick the eye to yeah. not be able to understand the scale as well if you just saw a box of spaces. Yeah. The, um, here we have a set up as an office area and a living area with a small pool sofa. You have TV and a fireplace. This is gorgeous. This bathroom we contrasted. This one's got a cathedral ceiling in it because it doesn't have the loft above it. Mm -hmm. It has, again, more of these beautiful, large scale neolith porcelain surfaces and all the walls. I love Four. how they book matched this. This is it's perfect. Like pretty. That works great. You still oh have your medicine God. cabinets. Here we have a wonderful touch and toilet. Oh, my. Warms up for you. Neolith is a, it's a Spanish product. It's manufactured in Castellón. It's in the north of Spain. And it's, yeah. it was born more than 10 years ago. So uh, back then, we manufactured something which is completely different to what we're manufacturing now. Uh, it means that in so little time, the industry has evolved a lot in terms of technology, in terms of design innovation. And now we're basically able to, to replicate any sort of pattern, any sort of material with the characteristics inborn in these uh, center surfaces. The Neolith Tiny House represents a great project and a great opportunity for, for Neolith to get closer to the architectural and design community. Thank you.